back to my channel and if you're new here hello my name is Carla and I am a makeup enthusiast who loves to create looks and just have fun with the makeup that I already have and occasionally I buy some new stuff and I review it for you guys so if that is something that you're interested in don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave all right guys in today's video as you already know and you read on the title of it we're doing three looks with one palette featuring the Natasha Nona mini bronze palette that was released on the 19th of this month this one is a very warm to an eyeshadow palette very pretty as you can see it's very summery and fall in my opinion these tones are very warm tones guys so to me it screams summer and fall if you are not into those colors i definitely don't recommend that you pick this one up let me tell you this one retails for 27 dollars all of Natasha Nona's me uh mini eyeshadow palettes went up two dollars so now they're all 27 and some of the midi ones went up from 65 to 69 I think most of them except one which is the pastel palette and I think that her her bigger ones her full-size ones I think they all stayed the same but yes guys just so you know this one is $27 you can find it at Sephora Beautylish or Natasha Nona's website but anyway guys enough chatting let's go ahead and start with the looks hello guys and welcome to day number one this is the look that I came up with and honestly it's a very simple look it takes less than five minutes well maybe five minutes you know so if in the morning you have like five extra minutes to apply eyeshadow this guys I, I kid you not it took me five minutes and I personally think it looks really pretty and it looks like you actually put more effort into it than what you actually did so you know it's one of those looks that it just makes you look good without having to spend hours in front of the mirror so let's start first I'm gonna start by applying my Urban Decay eyeshadow potion primer like I've said before it just makes your eyeshadow last longer increase less than if you don't put an eyeshadow primer and I'm just gonna tap there it is. I'm just going to let it sit for a minute before I go in with the eyeshadow. So let's start with the first and basically the only matte shade that I'm going to use. And this is going to be this one over here called Flesh. I'm going to apply that on a fluffy brush. And I'm not going to tap it, guys, which as much product as it is in here, I'm just going to go ahead and put it all over my crease first. And over here, I'm going to try to, you know, extend it a little bit to create some sort of, like, cat eye. Alright guys, I'm going to apply a little bit more. This time I'm going to put it all over my lid. Just like this, make sure that I cover all my lid. And keep extending it over here. Woo, my lips are burning. Now I'm going to bring that same shade on my lower lashes. Just going to run it all over here. And now guys to finish i'm just gonna apply the shimmer shade over here which is called bronze foil with my finger on my lid now back in with my brush i'm just gonna blend and that is pretty much it guys as you can see, very pretty look, very easy. I, of course, went ahead and I added on my inner corners a little bit of my highlighter, which is exactly what I'm going to do right now. So, you know, just grab any highlighter that you have, put it on your inner corners. The highlighter that I have is the one on my project pan. This one, unfortunately, is discontinued. It's um, from Nomad Cosmetics in the shade Stockholm Midnight, something like that. But yeah, guys, it's unfortunately discontinued. Alright guys, and this is pretty much it. I'm gonna go off camera and put on some mascara and I will be back. Alright guys, and this is a completed look. As you can see, very easy, very simple. I personally think it looks really pretty. But of course, makeup is, you know, very subjective. It's up to everybody's personality and preferences. I like this look. So... Yeah, that's all I gotta say. Okay, so let me tell you what I used to finish up with everything. For mascara, I use my Man Eater from Tarte. And for my waterline, I use my Pixie by Petra um, Eye Bright Liner. 
in the shade number one nude and for lipstick i use the lippy stick from colourpop in the shade fab fab yes fab um what else what else uh for blush i use my kiss and tell from colourpop this one is from their uh valentine's day collection not sure if they still have it available or not but i used this one i thought that you know this color was just really a little peachy i just thought that it would look really good with the eyeshadow because the one that i have in my, in my project pen is a little more on the really pink side so i that's why i switched it up but besides that everything else guys is part of my project pen my mascara my bronzer my concealer my foundation my eyebrow you know everything else but yes guys this is the look number one i hope that you liked it and let's go ahead and jump into day number or look number two hello guys and welcome to day number two this is the look that i came up with let me tell you this is the second time that I do this. The first time was a hot mess. So I had to remove all my makeup, put it on again, and I think it finally looks decent. Or, you know, it finally looks like what I had in mind. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to grab a brush like this. This is an eyeliner brush, or I think they, you know, you can also use this for your eyebrows. This is the Morphe M165. And I'm gonna apply the shade Russet, like an eyeliner, from this corner of my eye to the tail of my eyebrow. And now I'm gonna bring it in. I feel like both of my eyes don't look the same. This one is more round and this one is not. Don't you love it? Don't you love graphic eyeliner? So hard to make it look the same. Let's try again. Okay, we'll leave it like this. <laughs> now I'm gonna grab a smaller brush. This is kind of like a detail brush. It's just a very round. This is the Colourpop E23. And I'm just gonna run it with no product. It's, this one is dirty because I used it to blend over here. But, but I'm just gonna start blending very lightly again guys very lightly don't tug don't pull not good for your eyelids now with a fluffy brush this is my morphe m332 with a tiny little bit of product guys very little one tap Sure you remove as much as you can guys i did it again i'm so sorry about the audio i forgot to put on the mic um yeah i'm sorry anyway like i was saying just grab a tiny little bit of flesh i just did one tap and i tap my brush as much as i could and i'm just gonna run it above this graphic liner thing that i have going on here just to blend things out a little bit more so we have a nice transition again very softly now with a flat brush this is one that i got from elf i'm just gonna grab this shade bronze foil and i'm gonna wet my brush with some setting spray and i'm going to apply it over here Now back with the liner brush, I'm going to grab again a little bit of russet and I'm going to redefine that graphic liner. Alright, and I am going to blend again one more time just a little bit over here. Trying to blend on the outside and not on the inside of this liner. That way it stays a fine, but blend it on the outside. You know what, guys? I think I did apply a tiny bit of 
tough. Not sure. Did I? I think I did. Okay, so I'm going to apply a little bit of tough. Just very little. And tap. And we're going to blend. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, that's what I did. Now you can see the difference. Okay, I'm going to define one more time. I feel like I lost it. Now we're going to grab the shade Russet one more time, just a little bit, and we're going to run it on our lower lash line. All right, guys, and just to finish, I'm going to apply a little bit of bronze foil, which is the shimmer shade, this one right here, on top of the one that I already have, just to make it shinier, but trying not to touch that graphic liner that... Uh, that gave me so much trouble. Just over here. All right. I cannot believe that I finally finished after, you know, the second try. And now the last thing that we're going to do, guys, I'm going to grab my highlighter and I'm going to highlight my inner corners and my brow bone. All right, guys, I am done. Let me go ahead and put on some mascara and I will be back. All right, guys, and this is the completed look. Um, this is definitely out of my comfort zone. I am not used to like the graphic eyeliner type of thing. I mean, this is obviously not a graphic eyeliner. I mean, it kind of is, you know, it's just, but it's just not an eyeliner. It's an eyeshadow that I try to make eyeliner. I still think though, it's really pretty. Definitely came out 10 times better this time around because the first time was a hot mess. But this one, it's way better. You can see the actual like line of the graphic liner. I don't know, like if you want to try something new, you know, if you're just like me and you're not used to this, I think then, you know, this is a pretty look and it's, it is still within a very uh, neutral tone. I mean, obviously it's a very warm tone, but it, it's still neutral, you know, it's not like you're trying this with a hot pink and a purple and a green and like now <laughs> even though i love colors i love 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 colors i am just not used to this type of the fine lines and stuff that's what i'm trying to say but overall i think it's a very pretty look this one guys it's not like yesterday's look at this one takes a whole lot of time so i do not recommend trying this one unless you have like an hour to you know get this done this is about how much it took me because remember the first time around i had to remove everything and then do it again so in total was about an hour for my lips i used lippy stick from ColourPop in the shade fab and my for mascara i use my mender from tarte but anyway guys let's go ahead and jump on to look number three Hello guys and welcome to day number three. This is the look that I came up with. It's a halo eye and I honestly am really, really liking it. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start by applying the shade Flesh on a fluffy brush and run it all over your crease. I did not tap the excess, guys. I didn't remove the excess. So you can just go, you know, straight with how much it's in your brush. Just make sure that you blend good up here. All right, little pause right here, guys. I just noticed that my tongue, <laughs> um, I was eating candy. So, you know, that's why my tongue is purple. Anyway, let's continue. So we're gonna grab now the shade Gobi on a fluffy, smaller brush, but still fluffy. And I'm gonna apply it under, under the other shade on my crease. So we have a nice transition from Gobi to Flesh. Now back in with my first brush with no product, I am just going to blend this a little bit very softly. Now with a blender brush like this one right here, this one is from Farah, it's a 25E. I'm going to grab the shade Tough, this one right here, I'm going to tap, and I'm going to run it on my outer corner. All right, back in with my second brush, the one that I used for the shade Gobi. I'm just going to blend this right here. And 
And now back in with my first brush with no product, I'm going to blend again very softly over here. And now we're going to repeat the same process, but in the inner corner, let's grab a little bit more of Tuff. Put it on your inner corner. Just making sure that you don't close it all the way. Leave some space over here where we're going to put the shimmer. Alright, back in with my second brush, no product. I am going to blend over here. And back in with my first brush again, just a little bit over here. Alright guys, now we're going to take a Morphe E18 and we're going to grab the shade Russet, this one right here. And we're going to put it on our outer V, this one right here, just making sure that it stays in the corner. First I'm going to tap to deposit as much color as I can. And then I'm going to blend. Now let's do the same with our inner corner. Let's put a little bit over here. The inner corner of my eyes is always the easiest part. I don't know why. I guess because the skin over there doesn't really move as much as on the outer corner. I don't know. And now back in with the brush that I use for Tuff with no product. I'm going to start blending the edges of Russet. Back in with my second brush. This time I'm going to actually grab a little bit of product and I'm going to run it very softly and lightly under my crease. And then with a tiny little bit more product, I'm going to grab flesh and I'm going to run it again over here. All right, guys, and so now with our finger, we're going to grab the shade Bronze Foil. I'm going to grab it with my other finger. And we're going to put it on the center of our eyelid to create the halo effect. Alright, and now I'm going to grab the brush that I use for the shade Tuff. And I'm going to blend this part over here where the matte meets the metallic shade. Just so there's a nice transition from one to another. And I'm going to intensify just a little bit my outer corners with the shade Russet. Just a tiny bit. Just tap, 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 tap. There it is. Okay, now back in with my very first brush. I'm just going to blend everything over here. And now with a smaller brush, a very detailed brush like this. This is the ColourPop E23. I'm going to grab the shade Russet. And I'm going to run it on my lower lashes. And now with the second brush, the one that we use for Gobi, we're going to grab a little bit of Gobi. And we're going to run it on our lower lashes. And for this one, guys, I'm not going to be shy. I want a smoky, very intense. So I'm just going to go all in for this. All right, guys, that is it. Let me go off camera, put on some mascara, eyeliner and all of that jazz and I will be back. All right, guys, and this is the final look. Now, let me tell you one little thing that happened over here. As you can see, I got some eyeliner on my eyelid. And I cannot remove it. And it sucks. Because I was really, really, really liking this look. And you love it whenever, you know, you have something really pretty going on. And then, you know, you're almost done. And then just, you know, you ruin it either with your mascara or your eyeliner or something. It's just ah, so much fun, huh? Anyway, but I'm not going anywhere. So I'm just going to leave it like that while I edit this video. And... Yeah, I tried removing it with a, a spoolie, but actually it made it worse. So yeah, it, it's just 
and shit like that, guys. But anyway, guys, nonetheless, this is the final look. Whenever you don't have a, you know, a black spot over there on your eyelid, I think it looks really pretty. And this is definitely my favorite look out of the three of them. Let me know in the comments down below what do you think. Oh, and let me tell you before, you know, we leave and all of that stuff. The mascara that I use, it's again my Man Eater from Tarte. And for my lips, I use the ColourPop lipstick in the shade Fab. For blush, I use my ColourPop Kiss and Tell. This is, guys, pretty much what I've been using all week. And I put on some sketchy brown eyeliner on my waterline. Because I still... You know what? I think that... Because there was something else that I couldn't find. What was it? Oh, yes. Today I was... Oh, and for my eyeliner, I used the NYX Epic Wear in the shade Brown. I, I actually was wanting to put some black today. But I couldn't find it, and then I realized, you know what, I think it's in my makeup bag, which, I don't know where it is. Because whenever I went on a trip and I got everything out of my makeup bag, I just don't know where I left it. I need to look for it, and so I think there's where it is, my black eyeliner and my cream gel liner from ColourPop, the little brown one. But anyway, guys, this is it. Those were the three looks with one palette, which was the Natasha Nona Mini Bronze Palette. Let me know in the comments down below what do you think, which look was your favorite, did you pick up this palette already? I know that this video is coming a little bit late on the week, it's been a really hectic week guys. Anyway guys, like I said, I hope that you enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and click on that bell notification button so you don't miss any single one of my videos, and I will see you on the next one, bye!